have the next Wizarding Trunk, their quarterly special edition box. Let's see what we got. It's House Pride, I saw the theme, so I'm trying not to look at the stuff. Okay, 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 okay. I see, oh, there's something on top of that. I can do stuff. Ooh, uh, so in case I haven't said this before, I'm a Gryffindor, so I'm assuming that this made a difference in what you get in your box because I have a G Gryffindor seal on this pad of paper. That's cool. And then we have, is that a sticker? It's a sticker. I got a Gryffindor like a pendant sticker with a nice lion on it. That's kind of cool. I'm not, I don't really stick stickers anywhere, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but it's, it's a pretty nice sticker. I wanna see what the other ones look like. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be like multiple House Pride, but this is House Pride for my house. I am a Gryffindor, but I gotta say, I like the Ravenclaw colors a little bit better. This is, oh, this is soft. What in the hell? Oh, it's a pillow cover. <laughs> so this is the whole pillow cover right there. Um, it is soft, I'll give them that. It's pretty soft, but I'm not, uh, in the back is just this nice maroon color. I like when they use this darker maroon as opposed to just like bright red. Um, this okay. Let's see, a candle. Oh, I'm gonna smell all the different common rooms. Oh man, I wish I had every candle. Smoldering wood, roasted vanilla, cardamom, bravery. <laughs> what does bravery smell like? Does it smell like sweat? <laughs> I hope not. Ooh. Oh, I love this. It's like a smoky vanilla scent, which there is a scent from Bath and Body Works that's called smoked vanilla and I freaking love it. Oh, but this smells so good. If this is what the Gryffindor common room smells like, yes, we'll be spending all my time in there. Love this, this is definitely my favorite thing so far. I'm very curious what the other common rooms smell like. I want to smell them all. Let's take this thing that I see, a hat. It's a bit summery for this kind of a hat, but once winter rolls around, I like this. Um, so this is nice, I like this, it feels, it feels well made. It feels like it's gonna be soft. Kind of weird to be getting this item in May. Even so, I still it's still a nice beanie. I'm just not gonna get any use out of it for very many months. Ooh, oh, we got a tie. I don't know how to tie a tie. We have a house tie. Yes, like a real tie too. This is really nice. I don't know who made this, but well done you, whoever you are. To be a wall hanging. Ooh, that's pretty cool. You know, straight out of the Gryffindor common room. This aesthetic kind of medieval y feeling thing isn't like my favorite uh, to put up in my own house, but I do think this is pretty cool. It kind of looks like something they snatched out of the Wizarding World. What is going on here? This is, this is not bad. I'm not personally probably going to use this ever. Well, I don't know. Maybe I would. Yeah, I don't know. It's all right. I'm not mad about it. Ooh, it's a patch. Um, uh, it says 01. Do I have anywhere that I could put this? It's soft. Well, this part is soft. The, the red part is soft. The yellow part is just, just feels like felt. I feel like this is a thing they put in the box. We have a ring of some kind and a little red bag. It is a Gryffindor ring. It is quite large. It has... Why is the G backwards on one side? What? <laughs> the G on this side, correct. The G on this side, backwards. Ooh, and the inside of the ring says bravery. And then there's a lion on top. Here's my thing about these rings. <sighs> We've gotten rings from them before. I don't know why they make them so freaking big. This would be the kind of thing that would be kind of fun to actually wear. All right, we have a pin. Oh, I am a prefect. That is a large pin. I do like this one though. I've seen prefect badges that are much smaller, but since I don't 
put pins on like my clothes or a bag, this would be a nice one to put on display on a shelf. It's a bit big for putting on clothes, unless maybe you're Percy Weasley, and in that case, it's probably not large enough. <laughs> I see a key, I see a keys. Oh, what is happening here? Um, so this looks like the sort of Gryffindor with a bear above it. Did everybody get the same key? No, this says bravery. So this is supposed to, is that supposed to be a lion? It looks like a freaking bear. Here's a lion. What is this? There's like the piddliest amount of mane kind of up here, but this looks like a bear. This is kind of a fail for me. Um, I want to see the other house keys. I can't wait to watch some other videos of openings. Um, I like that it says bravery and then it's the sort of Gryffindor, the snitch here with the Quidditch hoops. I think this could have been a much better key. Tell me that's not a bear. You can't fight me. <laughs> don't really fight me. I don't want to fight you. It's not that serious. Do you agree? I think it's kind of cool and I like that it's small and light. I'll give it that, but that's a freaking bear. Oh, there's another pin in here. That tore real nice. Okay, we have here a portrait, a Hogwarts style portrait of Godric Gryffindor. This is nice, I like this. I will keep this too. There's not a lot to say about it. I think it's it's well done. It's got some weight to it, but it's not overly weighty if that makes any kind of sense. I liked the portrait they did of Phineas Nigelis Black in the House of Black box too. So I feel like the more of these that I could get my hands on, it would be nice to just have them littered around my Harry Potter shelves. That would be kind of cool. But let's look at these papery things. This says, Dear students, a biting boomerang wreaked havoc on the common room last night, sending two students to the hospital wing. Oh my. <laughs> there is a reason the biting boomerang is on the prohibited items list. 50 house points has been lost as a result of this. If you know who released this bloody menace into our common room, please report them to myself or the headmaster immediately. Sincerely, your prefect. Thanks, Percy. That's kind of funny. Salem Sisters, live in the Great Hall, October 31st. Some live entertainment. That's kind of fun. Hippogriff Puffs for sale. No way. Not housebroken. Registered with Department of Magical Creatures. Do not play well with ferrets. Which is funny because they're basically saying no Malfoy. Those are kind of fun. I like the little hippogriff there. One galleon? Seriously? Just one galleon? That seems low. Okay, let's get this box open. Why is, there we go. It's a very red. Drought of disillusionment. Become the exact color and texture as your environment. Ooh, that's a fun one. Ooh, that is a pretty red color. Ooh, I love the swirly twirlies in this. Ooh, so pretty. Love that. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. Okay, and last but not least. Oh, this is totally the Gryffindor common room. Oh, look at that. Well, there's that wall hanging that they gave us. I like this better than the wall hanging and it has the wall hanging in it. Could be Crookshanks sitting on the bookshelf. I'm very curious as to who that's supposed to be. It's probably not supposed to be anybody in particular. <laughs> I am intrigued. Who is this person? Who is she? What is she doing? Well, actually, it looks like she's either reading a crystal ball or a prophecy of some kind. That was the last item. Let's look at the cheat sheet now. House Pride, number one school tie. One of the required items of the school uniform is your school tie. We have included a brand new one in this box so you don't have to take a trip to the wizarding alley and pick one up. Why, thank you. Number two, common room painting. These common room paintings were created for us by Queen Mab and Wizardry Workshop. Number three, slouchy house beanie. These slouchy house beanies were created specifically for the students that receive the wizarding trunk. Number four, portrait pin. This pin depicts a very important person in the history of your house. Number five, house team letterman patch. Your letterman patch is in. The patch number represents the position you play on the house team. Ooh, I wonder if there are different numbers. Common room key. Having trouble remembering that common room password? Afraid to write down the answers again for fear of what happened last time you did that? This should help. Designed for us by J.P. Misselcrow. Number seven, house stationery. Perfect for taking notes in your magical or non-magical subjects. Designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Number eight, house potions. 
Deadly Nightshade. I wonder if that's the Slytherin one. That would be my guess. This dried berry is used in a variety of deadly potions. It is extremely poisonous and should not be ingested. Disillusionment Draft. This potion makes the drinker take on the exact color of their surroundings, essentially rendering them invisible. No invisibility cloak required. Wide Eye Potion. My guess would be that that's Ravenclaw. This potion aids in keeping you awake for long study sessions in the library. Yeah, that, that's gotta be Ravenclaw. Tangled Golden Glow. These seedlings produce a new species of magical plant, similar to Devil's Snare, but unaffected by sunlight. They are also used to brew the constricting concoction. And that's gotta be Hufflepuffs. Prefect Pen. Congratulations on becoming a new school prefect, designed in-house. Number 10, Common Room Tapestry. These tapestries can be found in each of the common rooms, designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number 11, Common Room Notices. Just a few of the notices that were posted in your common room notice board, written in collaboration with the Wizarding Trunk and Wizardry Workshop and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Did every house get the same notices or do we have different notices for each house? Class ring wax stamp. Oh, it's a wax stamp. Oh, that's kind of cool. Your class ring has arrived, created for display, but can be used as a wax stamp, designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number 13, vinyl decal. This vinyl decal was designed for us by J.P. Misselcrow. Number 14, throw pillow cover. These pillow covers were designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. 15, common room candle. I love my candle. These candles were created to smell like your common room, created for us by Laurel Mountain Candles, label design by Queen Mab and Wizardry Workshop. Next box theme, potions class. Ooh, okay, we've had some potion class boxes in the past that I've seen, but I don't think I've been on the receiving end of a potions class box, maybe one. So we'll see how they do with that. My favorite item, definitely this candle, but I'm gonna burn through this candle so freaking fast and it smells so damn good. I wanna smell them all, I wanna see them all. I really wanna see everything else, but this is definitely a favorite. I think the potion, the potion and this candle have gotta be my favorite. I am so curious to see this box from the other houses, especially Ravenclaw because I really like their house colors. Ah, it smells so good. You wanna smell it, Penny? My dog seems unimpressed that I woke her up to smell a candle. It's gonna be really fun to see all of these items from all the other houses, but I think they did pretty good as far as the Gryffindor items go. So yeah, well done, wizarding trunk. You did it again. What is your Hogwarts house? Did you get this box? If you didn't, are you going to try to get this box? Yeah, yeah, good box. Okay, bye y'all.